جاری نجا جاری نجا بعض نتاكا كي جانا ويتو يوجيني ومانوا امالزي علابو نميت بابا كاريبو Kwanza nataka ni wakikishie ya kwamba waziri wa ulinzi yako hapa na the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya yako hapa na ulinzi wenu uko sawa sawa na usalama umeimarisha mu relax sawa sawa leo ni siku ya baba tuataka tumlete mumsikize msiogope mvua mvua ni baraka sawa sawa mwisho tukiwa uwanja huu tulikuja kwa ajili ya BBI nataka nimshukuru sana my brother governor Oparanya wakakamega nimshukuru sana mzee wetu tunayemwenzi sana mzee wetu atoli na watu wa Kakamega for hosting us today na pia kutu host kwa mambo ya BBI wakati tulikuwa hapa so leo nina swali moja tu watu wa western ninyi kaunti zenu tano zilisema yes kwa BBI kura milioni tano mlichangia pakubwa sana kaunti zenu tano na speakers wetu wako hapa speaker Bluma wa Kakamega speaker wa Malwa wa Busia speaker Mdezi Hasna wa Vihiga speaker Werunga wa Kitale na Sifuna MCAs wetu wote walisema yes tukapitisha BBI makofi kwao jamani wabunge wetu senators walisema yes tukapitisha BBI lakini kuna ile ile shida ilitokea kotini Rais amesema Jamhuri Day ile BBI 5 million Kenyans muliunga mkono kaunti tano za Western muliunga mkono is a deferred dream that will become a reality very soon but it depends on who you choose as your next president leo nauliza buhungu hi msiogope mvua we want to decide our future in whose hands is BBI safe in whose hands is BBI safe? Ebu sema jamaa kwa hapa sugoya sikie. In whose hands is BBI safe? In whose hands is the deferred dream of BBI safe? In whose hands is the fight against corruption safe? In Baba's hands, leo watu wa sikie, western imeamua. In Baba's hands, the BBI that's the dream deferred will become a reality. Makofi kwenu jamani. La mwisho sababu baba anakuja. Leo nataka niambie ndugu zangu tulikuwa nao tulikuwa nao tulikuwa sote hapa tukiunga bibi ya mkono. Mnakumbuka? Leo wameogopa kuja hapa Leo Leo nina message moja Western yote iko hapa Sote tulikuwa hapa wakati wa BBI Kwa wale hawajakuja siku ya leo Sababu wanasema eti wana azma ya urais Na eti wakimuunga baba labda hawata faulu kwa azma yao ya urais Kule Afrika Kusini kulikuwa mzee Mandela Mandela alikomboa Afrika Kusini kutoka kwa uongozi wa jamii moja ya watu weupe walio wanyanyasa watu weusi nyuma yake kulikuwa na vijana who qualify to be presidents moja akiwa Mbeki mwingine akiwa Zuma na mwingine akiwa Ramaphosa rais wa Afrika Kusini sasa 
lakini kwa azimio la umoja wa Afrika Kusini all those who were qualified to be presidents waliunga mzee Mandela wakakomboa Afrika Kusini kweli si kweli Mzee Mandela alipomaliza Mbeki alikuwa rais kweli si kweli Mbeki alipomaliza Jacob Zuma alikuwa rais kweli si kweli Jacob Zuma alipomaliza ndugu yetu Cyril Ramaphosa ndio rais wa Afrika Kusini sasa Leo nataka niambie ndugu zangu We have in Buhungu Stadium today Sababu tusidanganyane This is a two horse race Tuko na farasi ile ingine ya Yuda na tuko na farasi ya Azimio Today may I say to you the people of Western Kenya We have the winning horse which is the Azimio horse in our Western stable today Na baba kwa hapa na sisi Muna nisikia Sasa ndugu zetu wakubali Sote tuweke nguvu zetu nyuma ya humze Awe Mandela wetu wa Kenya Atukomboe sababu kwa miaka hamsina nane Ukweli na usemwe Rais Uhuru Kenyata alikuwa hapa vihiga Tukimzika mama hana Na akasema haiwezekani iwe tuja mimbili zinaongoza taifa hili Alisema wakati umefika hata jamii zingine pia kuongoza Kenya. Ni kweli si kweli? There are those who call my president a tribalist. I can tell you today I supported Uhuru Kenyatta because he's not a tribalist and because he undertook to fight corruption. The twin evils that held the Kenyan dream back when we were par with the Asian tigers, South Korea, Malaysia, Singapore ilikuwa ni ukabila na ufisadi that is why i supported uhuru kenyatta siku ya leo nataka niwambie uhuru kenyatta has given us a way na huyu raila molo odinga huenda akawa ndio mandela wa kenya huenda akawa ndio kifunguo ambacho kitafungua uongozi wa nchi utoke kwa jamii mbili uende kwa jamii zote za kenya Inawezekana haiwezekani? Inawezekana mbajuni kama General Badi we have seen him lead Nairobi. A hundred days of General Badi are better than 1000 days of Michael Songo. Ye ni mbajuni huyu Raila Odinga akichufungulia kifunguo yawezekana mkisi na mkuria mtrukana mpo court na mbajuni kuongeza kuongoza taifa hili. Lakini kwa ndugu zangu ambao hawajakuja hapa nataka wakubali tusimame na mzee wetu. Awe ufunguo vile alifungua section 2A tukapata uhuru wa vyama vingi. Vile alifungua ufunguo wa mabadilisho ya katiba yeye na mzee Kibaki waliongoza wa Kenya milioni saba tukapata katiba mpya tukapata ugatuzi. With us here today, we have the champion of devolution who led 7 million Kenyans to say yes to devolution and that's why you have it today. Who recently with President Uhuru led 5 million Kenyans to say yes to devolution to tuongeze pesa ya ugatuzi. Pesa ya ikuje hapa kwenye wards. Na pia tuweze kupata constituencies saba hapa western Kenya. Watu wa malava muko hapa. Malava is the largest constituency. You deserve another constituency. Watu wa, wa mnyinyi muko hapa Kandui. Kandui na ward 7, ward 8. They deserve another constituency. Tuko pamoja. So hiyo ndio sababu leo nimekuja nyumbani nikiwa the longest serving minister for devolution. Kusema devolution holds the key. Na nimefanya kazi na ndugu yangu huyo paranya akiwa chairman wa council of governors. Devolution holds the key to a more just Kenya, a more equal Kenya, a more equitable Kenya, and a more inclusive Kenya. That dream deferred, that dream deferred will only be realized through Raila Amolo Odinga. Muna kubali hiyo? Hiyo muna kubali? So mwisho niseme haya. Niseme haya. Hapa Westland tulikuwa na nabii. 
aliitwa Elija Masinde wa Nameme. Mnakumbuka? Na tuko hapa na wazee kutoka Bungoma. Tuko na chairman wa Bukusu Council of Elders, mzee Dr. Walukano wako hapa. Your Excellency Wanga Mati yako hapa chairman wa Liwa Council of Elders. Na wote tumesema unabii wa Elija Masinde ulisema siku moja uongozi wa Kenya utakuja kwa nyumba ya Mlembe kupitia Ziwa Victoria. Kweli si kweli? Na wakati umetimia sasa huo unabii uliotabiriwa kuweza kukamilika. Tuko pamoja? So leo nataka niseme mimi kuna wengine wameniita Kwesule huko Bungoma. Sababu Kwesule ukipoteza network vile Musalia na weta umepoteza kuna ndege ukiuliza anaitwa Kwesule Bungoma na Tanzania atakuonyesha. Hapa Kakamega anaitwa Nangofia. Si atakuonyesha ukiwa umepotea? Huko Samia anaitwa Ogwasule. Ukipoteza network unauliza Ogwasule. Leo nataka niwaambie mnakubali Kwesule niwaonyeshe pale serikali itakuwa? Mnakubali na ngofia iwaonyeshe pale serikali itakuwa? Watu wa Busia mnakubali Ogwasule iwaonyeshe the next president of Kenya. Sasa leo angalia fimbo hii the next president of Kenya serikali jayo iko hapa itaongoza na Raila Amolo Odinga. Thank you God bless. Aya. Kwa sababu ya hizi ndugu yangu tumefanya kazi karibu nimesema aendelee, si ndio? Nimemupa nafasi ya kutosha. Sasa hivi tuna wenzetu kabla niite baba tuna wenzetu ambao wametoka kiama kingine. Tuna defectors wako hapa paka muwaone. Wakiongozwa na Sabula. Waingie kwa 